Little Jimmy awaited his father's arrival each day with hope-filled eyes. For him at seven years old, his father could do no wrong and he wanted to be just like him when he grew up. His father's example and the admiration he had for him would lead him to follow in his father's footsteps, becoming a man of God and business, just like his dad. Like little Jimmy, we're all wired to connect with and admire the things and people around us. God actually created us to worship beyond song and dance, but by what we set our heart and gaze upon. The question is not whether we will worship, but what we will worship. If we behold the wrong object or person, it can lead us to places we were never meant to be. In 2 Corinthians, it says, We all, with unveiled face, beholding the glory of the Lord, are being transformed. This principle is carried out throughout our life and is a reality based on whatever we place our attention and eyes on. I want to ask you today, what have you been beholding? What are you becoming more like? As we gaze upon Christ in prayer and His Word, we can trust and look forward to becoming more like Him. Just like little Jimmy, we have a Heavenly Father who is worth admiring and beholding. What are you beholding or putting before God that will never fill the void only He was meant to fill? How can you take more steps towards keeping your eyes on Jesus?